Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to install, how to program your scan gauge. First thing what you wanna do once you purchase one of those things is to get your codes. You go to scan gauge website, scangauge.com, and then you click on scan gauge 2 products, scan gauge 2. Then you scroll down until you see X gauges. You click on X gauge technology. Then you click at the bottom, it takes you find X gauges for your vehicle. Then from there you scroll down until you find your vehicle. In my case it's going to be Toyota Lexus. You click on it. Then you find uh, gauges that are applicable to your vehicle. There is a year for which vehicle it supports. There's a bunch of transmission codes. So, and this scan gauge tool works on to, from 96 or 97 and up vehicles. Of course, not all the codes they're going to have because 96 early 2000s uh, transmission temperature was not available on all vehicles newer vehicles they all have it so if you scroll down find what you're looking for print it out and go from there and they keep adding more and more code so there's all kind of information and if you don't see what you want send them an email I, I on a regular basis keep asking them not too long ago, I asked them about oil temperature for Toyota uh, codes. And they did send me via email, free of charge. So, which is nice. So, I'm going to print it out, those transmission codes. And see, it requires... Uh, remember, make sure your... Uh, Make sure the software on your scan gauge loaded is the latest one. You see right there it says 4.2 for this is for 2016 and up. It doesn't say anything about this code. So what I'm gonna do is print them and show you how to go from there. You don't have to print, you can use your smartphone if that's what you wanna do. <coughs> it's your personal choice. But since I do not know which one's gonna work on my Tundra, I'm gonna print all of them and try one by one, see which one works until I find the correct one. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to and where to plug in your OBD2 port on your scan gauge. See that plug? That's a it's called OBD2 plug. So on any vehicles, 96 and up, except heavy duty trucks, I'm not sure where they have the OBD2 plug so the OBD plug is actually right there right underneath the dashboard that right there see if camera can focus that's right there and you plug that in your scan gauge into there You plug that thing in, and then this thing comes alive, right there. You might have to turn the ignition on, you might not, it depends. So now I'm going to show you guys how to program. First, what you want to go, says connecting, so because you're going to turn the ignition on, the first step. Once you turn the ignition on, Scan gauge comes alive. It says connecting. More. So now it's connected. You go to setup. Why setup? You want you want to set up uh, 
distance it says uh, so you can set up all those th different things so tank my tank is 26.4 so 27 and those you know you can go back for 26 tank size then gas fuel type currency in dollar okay ADV settings I'm not sure what this is ah I guess you can set a refresh rate I'm not gonna change that okay more setup uh, the ignition has to be on for it to work more you can scan if there's any codes more no pending codes you can clear your codes Clear codes. No, because I don't have, and I don't want to uh, set off clear my, because it will clear my gauges, not gauges. It will clear my system off, and then my emission equipment on the vehicle would have to be, uh, would have to be relearned. So I have to drive for the emission system to now start registering and reading correct. So that might affect my fuel economy. So there is really no need for it. Okay, so you can see right there, it's already reading our uh, coolant, 42 degrees. And that's about right, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what it says. 39, yeah, 39, 42 degrees. So you can change TP. TPS, there's all kind of goodies. Average, volt, MPG, RPM. We'll put it there. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, more, more mode. Did you see how I did it? Let's go back. You click. more more you click mode you click x gauges that's what you want to do you click edit x gauge okay zero that's the first one available you can go next one two we'll start with a zero because that's what we want to use uh edit and we can start typing now the first transmission code that we have. So the TXD, so if you look on your uh, codes, there is a column that says TXD. And then, and then again, plus or minus, either you go up and add the numbers. So in my case, we're going to start zero. Then you press error. Then you go to seven. next then if I go down E error the right zero to the right two one eight and two then you hit OK. Then the next RXF codes, which is our long code. And you do the same thing for each one of them. So this is the final result. You see, the truck is running. For me, it took a third, third one down. You got to work fast, kind of work fast, because otherwise it goes, takes you back and, you know, it does not save. So, as you can see, I'm getting voltage, I'm getting FWT, it's a Fahrenheit water temperature, 87, 
As you can see, engine speed 20, 1200, transmission fluid temperature 55 degrees. Outside is about, not sure if camera can pick it up, but it's about 39 degrees. So truck is running. As you can see, even though the temperature gauge for coolant or transmission doesn't show much anything. So I can't really tell what's the temperature. But if I look at this, at the scan gauge, now I know now it's at 100 degrees, which is nice. And if you try all the codes and it still, it still doesn't work, well, then either you enter something correctly, which is most common case. I get like a, a lot of comments. People say, oh, it doesn't work. And then later they find out they made a mistake entering something, you know, they either the wrong digit or wrong uh, letter and then nothing works. So, and if you tried everything, double check and it still doesn't work, well, Send them an email, ask them, maybe they can send you some other codes. But if it's for Toyota or Lexus, they pretty much have it, everything covered. You know what I mean? My other vehicles might not work. I cannot speak for that. I have no experience with that. But as you can see now, it's 120 degrees. Look at the gauge. It's not even, well, it's barely starting to move. Transmission gauge doesn't show anything. Still cold. So, transmission code, or not transmission code, but transmission fluid temperature, it's, it's, it's nice. I can see my engine speed, 1100, my voltage, it's charging, even though it shows up there, but you know, it's nice to, sh to see a live view. Because this tool scan gauge, if, would, if more people would have it, it will prevent engine problems, and I will make a separate video how this tool scan gauge can prevent engine and transmission problems to be uh, prevent from expensive repairs and trouble. You know, a simple tool like this can prevent a lot of headaches. So, this is how simple it is to connect program uh, straightforward. So if you go back, let's see if I can get this thing to focus. More, more, mode, edit. And then if I wanna go back, I can click edit. You see, if you click on this, you see, then, then you can up and down, we'll change it. The letter or the number, then hit OK. Same thing here, if you press this on the right arrow, and then those plus or minus here, you can change the digits. Once you're done, you hit OK. Same thing, you know what I mean? You don't have to retype the codes all over again. Just make the adjustments per the chart that I showed you, and keep going, and keep going. And then the name, you add the name. Here you can add the uh, uh, letters. I put TFT, transmission fluid temperature, Toyota fluid, fluid temperature. Uh, it doesn't matter. Whatever you, okay. Then you hit OK. Then you hit Save. Then you hit Exit. Then you, record, then you hit Gauges. And then by pressing this, find the name that you gave. You know, either this or that. Either one. I can get to display TFT on all four... Uh, of all four displays. So my engine warmed up to 132, as you can see, transmission fluids warming up, and that's how it is, you know what I mean? This is straightforward, very simple. I'm sure I'll get a question, what happens when you turn the car off? Is this still stays on? Well, engine is running. You can see temperature went up a little bit on transmission too. So I'm gonna shut the engine off. Let's see, well, let's look at the gauge. The truck is not running. It shuts off. So you don't have to worry about draining the battery. So the, the suction cup with the kit for... So for the skin gauge, you can get a windshield mounting kit, suction cup, suction cup and there is this different magnets 
you can attach this to the dashboard and have a suction cup it comes with the alcohol pad and then it comes with this gets attached to that this is a magnet you get two magnet things either square or round the way it works you have a scan gauge you wipe the surface with that alcohol pad peel the backing attach to it and then once this piece is there see it's a magnet attaches <coughs> just like that straightforward very simple that's there as you can see so I want to thank you for watching ask me questions and don't forget to subscribe to my channel